Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to find the perimeter of this figure. In general, if we want to find the perimeter, we have to find all the lengths of the sides and add them. The problem here is that we only get the length of this side, of this side and of this side. We don't know the length of the other side, so we don't even know if it's possible to find the perimeter, but we will see. Let's try it. I'd say we divide this problem into two parts. First part, we take a look at all the horizontal lines and after that, all the vertical lines. So let's start with the horizontal ones. The perimeter is then, okay, we can use the five here. We know this length, okay, this comes into our perimeter. What else? We don't know the length of all those individual sides here. But since these are right angles here, we know that this side starts here and ends here. This side here starts at exactly the same point here and goes until here. And then the third side starts exactly here and goes until here. So if we take all of them together, it's just from the left to the right and we know that this is given with five meters. So all those lengths together are of length five. We don't know the individual uh, lengths, but we don't, know, we don't need it. We just need the perimeter. So we just need the sum of those and this is five. And so we have this. These were all the horizontal lines. So let's take a look at the vertical lines. We have this one and this one. Okay, four and three, we can put this in here already, but there are more. We also have this one and this one. And this time we can say that this long side is four plus three because they are overlapping here. So this time, unfortunately, it's not that easy. We only know that this part here is of length three. Okay. We don't know how long this overlapping part is. I just call it X. And if we call this X, we can say how long this part is, because if we would take the four, that would be too long. We only want this shorter part here. But if we subtract this part here, which is X, then we know how long this part here is. So it's the whole side, the four minus the part we don't need minus the X. Okay then just put everything in the perimeter and see what happens. So we have the four minus X, uh, X in a perimeter, <laughs> not a good thing, but let's see. Uh, we have the three, okay. And we have this side, which was X. These are all the vertical lines. So we have everything in our perimeter. And the good thing is we have minus X plus X. It just cancels out and we can find the perimeter by adding five plus five is 10, 14, 17, 21, 24. And thus we found it, although we had this X in here, but it was nice to us. So everything was good. I hope you found the solution as well. Please let me know in the comments and have a wonderful day.